Okay, so, forgive the uh, overly sized face cam here, but this will make no sense if you can't see it. This model of the Starship Enterprise is in fact a controller for a Kerbal Space Program. I have attached a little bitty gyroscope onto there that feeds through this cable into this Arduino microcontroller, which I swear is not a bomb. That feeds into my computer, which feeds into a KSP mod, which lets me do this. I press this button, and look in the lower left corner, you see the pitch and roll indicators are moving with the ship. I would do yaw as well, but it actually gets really complicated trying to manage three axes at once with a little model of a Starship Enterprise. So let's reset that those axes, throttle up, and see if I can't take off with this thing. Okay, that's going up, and uh, brakes. And oh, we're already rolling off to one side. Oh boy, we're rolling again. Up, 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 oh no. Huh, let's try that again. So as you can see, the uh, actual act of flying with this thing is really quite finicky. I'm still working on the uh, signal capture algorithm thingies to find a way to make it work a bit better than this. Yeah, it does that a lot too. I think it might be something to do with the fact that I don't know which way down is. And since it's mounted at a slight angle, any uh, fluctuation can go to more than one axis. And that doesn't really make sense in the frame of the ship and the KSP. They're not using the same reference frame, you see. So I think if I stuck a giant, if I scup, blah, 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 if I stuck an accelerometer in there with it, I could get information on which way down actually is, and maybe filter that through in some manner, turn this into essentially a giant Wiimote. Or I could just mount a Wiimote inside it. Eh, that's not as fun. Let's try this again. Throttling up. Remove the brakes. And pitch up. Do not roll any. I do not want to roll any. Are we rolling? I hope not. We're not pitching up either. What's wrong with this thing? It's not on. Oh, that would do it. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you do have to activate it. Uh, it's probably better to get into the air first with the normal keyboard methods, but that's not quite as entertaining. So let's keep doing this until I can get it. And breaks off. Thingy activated. And we're going. Okay, and up we go. Up we go. Okay, and hold that, hold that, hold that. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, we're spinning now. Oh, we're still spinning up. Eh. <sighs> okay, let's try a different thing. Okay, so this time I've got us into the air with manual methods and set the SAS to on. I think that might actually help. I'm not entirely sure how the SAS will interact with this, but let's see what happens. Okay, it seems to be doing well. Okay, it's not doing as well as I thought. Okay, this thing spins a lot. This thing has a lot of rolling going on. Okay. Uh, the problem is the uh, gyroscope isn't quite perfect, so it's a bit lossy, and the direction for forward keeps changing, so the zero orientation is moving around, and but I think I've got this straightened out. Nope, nope, nope. Just want to fly level. Okay, okay, alrighty. And spinning's good, I guess. That works if we're already in the air. No problem with it. I'm not going to land this. This isn't going to land. Nope. Oh, 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 oh. Pull up, pull up, pull up. That's not up. Well, so, this is a thing. I hope to develop this further. I will be, pre I'll be presenting what I can at KerbalCon next week, and hopefully by then it'll be a bit less crashy. Uh, Stay tuned, I'm going to talk to the techie people who want to know the, ner the nerdy bits about how this thing goes. Be right back.
So first off, the hardware is dead simple. This is a LG3 something or other gyro off of Adafruit, uh, plugged directly into this Arduino Uno, which then feeds serial data into that computer that you can't see. The uh, computer and Arduino have a sort of call and response thing going. The computer sends a uh, request for a particular axis down the line, and the Arduino responds with the value of that current axis. Now, it was a bit of a hassle to get the Arduino to talk to curl space program, because the way you're supposed to do that in C-sharp is using system.io.ports which is a forbidden namespace in Kerbal Space Program because if they gave you system.io, they could delete system32 off your computer or do whatever, or like read your credit card information, something like that. But we can't do it directly. What we can do is write another program that'll do this for us, and then write whatever it gets out of the Arduino to a file in the root directory of Kerbal Space Program, which the mod system will let us see, read it out of there, pump that into KSP, and plug that into our vessel. Now, it's a bit fuzzy, as you can see during the demo. It was all been going into sort of like a locked state, where one axis would just get stuck on one side, and we'd sort of vary from reality. I'm still working on different data processing ways to fight that, but I think I might have to bring the accelerometer into the mix. I do have one. It's just I didn't want to do that unless I needed to. The least hardware, the better, of course. So stay tuned. This might become a thing. Uh, well, it's already a thing. It might become a better thing, a, a useful thing even. I just want to be able to like, play Curl Space Program by doing this. Woo, whoosh, woo. And, oh, maybe I could use it for docking, like use the accelerometer to. Uh, that would be interesting. I'll have to think about this.